Hi guys and welcome to this review. Today we're going to be looking at the Heroic Age Iron Man from Marvel Legends. It's under the Iron Man 3 wave and it's obviously the Builder Figure Collection Iron Manga. This guy comes with the left leg of Iron Manga. So before we look at the packaging let's just take a look at that leg that it comes with. So articulation wise when you have it fitted to Iron Manga it'll be able to go out like that, back not very much, forward okay, double jointed knee, a swivel at the hip, uh, left, right, up, down and ankle pivot from the foot. So very nicely articulated leg and if you want a closer look at this guy I'll have a review of him up when I get the Mark 42 Iron Man and Ultron to complete him. But now that we've taken a look at him, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So if you saw my Captain America review, um, you'll see exactly why I really don't like this box in particular. Um, Bio-wise, there isn't one. Uh, I I'm obviously fine with them showing you that there's three coming out soon, and then you've got the other guys, and you've got Iron Manga. Um, and I really do like the artwork of Iron Man right there. What I don't like is this picture of Iron Man here. That would have been a perfect spot to show a quick bio of this so kids know exactly what they're buying if they haven't read the comic books. But because of the uh, way the packaging is, you can see the figure anyway. So why would you want to see the figure there, turn it round and see a picture of the figure there? You'd much prefer to see a bio with the figure. I, I don't understand why they did that. It's pretty stupid to be honest. Um, yeah, I... I do quite dislike that, but anyway, moving on from the packaging, let's take a look at the figure. Here's Heroic Age Iron Man, and I must say, the only thing that's disappointing about this guy is the packaging. This is, for me, a perfect Iron Man figure, literally perfect. Uh, and I'm going to start it off by giving you a size comparison here. So, here's just a quick comparison to something else in the same line. So, we have the Iron Patriot here from the Iron Man 3 movie. Uh, very nice scaling there. I'll just get him out of the way for now and bring in Thor and Captain America. So you'll have seen this trio of dudes before in my uh, Captain America video, but as you can see, heroic age wise, you can get a really, really nice display here too. So, size comparison very 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 nice and as I said in the Captain America uh, video this guy is slightly bigger than your generic six inch guys like Cap um, obviously because this is a guy in a suit so it should be bigger so people complain about him being taller than other Iron Man figures even though this is meant to be a slimmer suit well this is actually a more accurate version because it, you know he is going to be a little bit bigger isn't he um, now there's something that I, I do like on this figure and that's the blue um, but I think could have been improved so possible improvement is the fact that on the three and three quarter inch version of this guy everything blue so you've got the repulsor and the uh, arc reactor in his chest and all these lights there's, there's quite a lot of them they're very nice you got one on the hip there um, on the inside of the boots on his arms very very nice and then two on his back on the smaller version they actually have little dots of white on the inside of him and on the inside of the arc reactor and everything a lot like the eyes do here on the helmet um, and I just wish that it had that because it, it, it does look a little bit cooler but that doesn't mean I don't dislike this it just means you know it's a bigger figure you're paying a little bit more I do wish that they just put that on there but I can live without it um, at least they did actually paint in those repulsors Whereas on an awesomely detailed figure like the movie I'm Patriot, they haven't done that on the uh, on the repulsors there. So I'm quite pleased that they have actually done that. And right off the bat, you can also see here that, yes, you can get him in a fairly decent repulsor blast pose. Um, yeah, quite nice. Um, carrying on with sort of an articulation topic here on mine the shoulders are very stiff um, not too bad on the other one really but this one is very <laughs> very stiff um, so that's why I like to use this one as that repulsor arm basically 
uh, I'm actually glad that that is the open hand because on this one it's the uh, it's the fist it looks a little strange compared to him it looks quite big uh, when you put him next to other Iron Man figures because they do tend to be quite small on those but just with this guy in mind it it's perfectly sized fair amount of gold on the dude. So articulation wise now that I've got that arm down uh, as I said this shoulder is a bit stiff the more I use it the more it will free up um, but it's sort of ratcheted a little bit up and down as you can see there like the separate clicks it, and it's also sort of ratcheted all the way around so it's nice to see that Marvel Legends are uh, doing that now so that that you know you, you're not going to get a lot of uh, really weak joints if they're ratcheted are you so very nice we've got the uh, the bicep swivel there double jointed elbow which you can only really utilize the single joint because that one really doesn't move all too much you know on this one on this arm here you can see that it only moves one little click this one I can barely get that to move see it's 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 very stiff um and it's also very thin. You can see the joints in there very, very thin. So I wouldn't be moving that around too much because it's it's a slightly more rubbery plastic than the rest of the arm. So it sort of bends, as you can see. So just be careful if you are going to be playing with this guy. The hand, um, yeah, decent amount of articulation. I mean, you can move his hand that much. It comes in very well, but out on the forearm there, he's he's got that light that armor piece. So not too much articulation there. Uh, if I move the arms out of the way to show you the ab crunch, I do quite like this. That comes back pretty damn far. So very nice. The head, very very nice dramatic looking down poses as well as going up a fair amount, not as much as Captain America, but that is helped by the ab crunch as you can see it just goes left and right. Helped by the ab crunch if you want a flying pose because you just bring that up you can uh, knock the arms back. I'll just get me to a quick uh, flying pose here. Do, 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 do. There we go. So, you know, you can get the legs up. I mean, that's quite a crap flight pose, actually, if <laughs> a real quick one on cam. But you can get the uh, you know general idea of what I'm trying to show you here. The body comes up instead of the head. Uh, but anyway, after that really crap demonstration, um, we have waist movement. Uh, we have hips on a ball joint there, so very nice. We also have a thigh swivel, which isn't needed too much because of the ball joint, but whatever, we'll take it. Double jointed legs, which very stiff too, actually. Yeah, it's quite a stiff figure. Better to be stiff than loose, though, so very, very nice there. And then very nice legs. These are, these are probably the best feet uh, on a figure that I have, so up a little bit, but down really, really far. And then obviously you've got the uh, the normal Marvel Legends um, ankle pivot thing. So overall, then articulation for this guy is pretty damn good. Uh, one of the best that Marvel Legends have produced, in my opinion. Um, head is really really nicely detailed. You've got great paint apps with the blue. It would be awesome if they put the white on there, but never mind. Good size comparisons and you're getting that nice little bit of swirly paint there on the red um, it's sort of metallic so it's not just a really really bright red that you're gonna hate uh, but really cool that you can uh, add him to your heroic age collection so final thoughts definitely recommend it so if you want to see the uh, the other figures that you saw in this video check them out in the description or go ahead and click the link up here to see the movie I'm Patriot. Uh, click the link up here, subscribe, so that you can be notified when I do finish off my Iron Monger, and then you can see that review. So thanks for watching, I've been Home Marino, and I'll see you in the next video.